everyone, so today I'm going to be showing you guys how I achieved this Kylie Jenner inspired makeup look. Kylie wore this look on Snapchat a few days ago, so I decided I wanted to recreate it, and I'm using all drugstore products, so you guys can achieve this makeup look for a very cheap price. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into the tutorial. So I'm going to start off by priming using the L'Oreal Magic Lumi Foundation Primer and just blend this into the skin. This is a very illuminating primer, so it's going to give you a very dewy finish. Then for foundation, I'm using the Maybelline Better Skin Foundation and just dotting that all over my face and blending it out with a beauty blender just to make sure it has a seamless blend. Make sure your beauty blender is damp when you use it because that will make a huge difference with your foundation blending. It's an amazing tip. If you guys don't do it already, make sure your beauty blender is damp when you blend out your product. And then for concealer, I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in Fair and just applying this right under my eyes. This is just going to conceal any darkness under the eyes and conceal my bags. So yeah, I'm not going crazy with this, I'm just concealing my under eye bags. And then I'm blending it out with a beauty blender again. Then to set, I'm using this Airspun powder. This is like my favorite powder to set from the drugstore. It's an amazing powder. This is a translucent version and I'm just setting under the eyes. I'm not baking today. I'm just doing a light set because I wanted a very luminous, healthy, natural finish because that's what Kylie's skin looked like. It looked very natural, very healthy. So I'm not gonna go crazy with the powder and keeping that luminous finish from the primer that we applied. And then for bronzer, I'm using the Butter Bronzer from Physician Formula. Kylie didn't look like she had much contour going on, so I'm just going to be applying bronzer. This is my favorite bronzer from the drugstore. Highly recommend it. It's such a good bronzer from the drugstore. It's a really good price, and it smells like coconut. And then for blush, I'm using the e.l.f. blush palette. Mine is in light, and that shade right there. Recently, I've been noticing that Kylie loves to apply like a really pinky blush rather than like a peachy or a mauve one. So yeah, I'm just going to be applying this on my cheeks and really packing it on so it's like a nice flush of blush on my cheeks. And then for highlights, it's not like an inexpensive drugstore product, but you can find it at the drugstore, so sorry about that. But yeah, Kylie was wearing a little bit of highlight like on her cheekbones, I noticed. So I'm going to be applying this with a Morphe M310 brush on my cheekbones. And I'm also just going to apply that on the nose with a small detailer brush from Real Techniques. Then for priming, I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer again. You can just use your concealer to prime. It works totally fine. So I'm just using that to prime my eyes and then blending it out. And then to set it, I'm just going to use the Airspun Powder, the translucent version that I used for my face to set my under eyes to set my primer. Using a base is really important if you want things to blend out on the eyes. And also to make sure nothing creases, you've got to make sure that you set it. And it'll also help your eyeshadows blend on. And then for eyeshadow, I'm using the Sonia Kashuk Ion Neutral Palette. This is like the O2 palette. I'm pretty sure there are different versions, but this is the O2. It's all matte, all neutral. So I'm just running that directly into the crease and blending it out. And I'm also taking it sort of onto the lid because I noticed that Kylie had a very like soft and it was all very blended together and very smoky and like one tone. But now I'm just sort of faking my crease to be like Kylie's and I'm using this eyeshadow from NYX. This is the Dance the Tides eyeshadow. It's a single eyeshadow. And I'm just faking my crease basically by defining a hollow out using this darker shade in the crease. And I'm also really focusing it up towards my brow, making sure that it's all very messy, all very blown out. So yeah, I'm just making sure it's all blended and all very seamless. Then I'm taking that shade again and just applying that all over the lid just to get that overall brown tone in the eyeshadow that Kylie had. And then I'm applying that shade on the outer edge. I'm just using that same shade I used in my crease, the NYX shadow, on this outer corner. This is Kylie's, like, number one tip. I feel like she always does this with her eyeshadow, I've noticed. She just takes it up sort of as if she was doing a wing liner, but she really, like, blends it out and smokes it out so it's very soft and subtle. But what this is just going to do is just lift your eyes and create an almond eye effect. It's going to open up the eyes and also add definition to the lashes. So this is, like, my number one tip for this Kylie Jenner makeup look is doing this step but yeah here I was just like building up this sort of outer edge wing with all these deeper shadows making sure it's nice and blended out and very natural looking but I do really still want that lifted eye effect which you'll see in the end result my eyes look a lot more lifted and a lot more almond shaped this is like my number one tip for a Kylie Jenner makeup look then I'm just applying a cream black liner on my waterline and also on the outer edge of my eye and then I'm just gonna smudge it out and like smudge it out so that it's in a wing shape and just making sure it's all smoky out here and this is really going to add definition to the lashes and really smoke it out but I'm just focusing it mainly on the outer edges of the eye and then the eyeshadow is done and I'm just going to apply mascara this is the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara this is a great mascara from the drugstore I highly recommend and then for lashes I'm using the Ardell Wispy Lashes 
Kylie looked like she wasn't wearing very intense lashes. She could have just had mascara on or like individual lashes, something like that. So I'm just applying these. These are the Ardell Wispies. They're very natural. They don't really look like false lashes at all. They're very wearable. And then I'm applying some lower lash eyeshadow. I'm choosing that NYX shadow and running that on the lower lash line to tie the whole look together. And then I'm using an eyelash curler. I'm just calling the lashes. Okay, and then here are the two Kylie Cosmetics exposed dupes. This first one I'm showing you guys is the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in London. And the second one is ColourPop's Magic Wand. So first I'll be applying ColourPop's Magic Wand on the lips. And then I'm actually going to do both of these lip colors to really get that exposed look. Um, so I'm just applying ColourPop's Magic Wand on my lips first, and then I'll be applying the NYX London Soft Matte Lip Cream over top. These are both dupes for the Exposed Liquid Lipstick. If you have Exposed, just use that. But these are some dupes for you guys just to show you. The ColourPop isn't from the drugstore, but it is still very inexpensive. The NYX one, however, is from the drugstore, so there you go. Um, but yeah, I'm just applying this on the lips. Of course, it is going to look different on me than it does on Kylie because she has a much deeper skin tone than me. But yeah, it looks a little bit deeper and more warm on me just because Kylie has a more warm complexion. But yeah, that's just how it goes. Um, so yeah, here is the completed look, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos from me. Please like this video, tell your friends about my channel, and leave a comment requesting anything you want to see. Thank you guys so much for watching.